Good afternoon, this is the video log of Sergeant Charles Dyer. That is April 20th, 2011. I am a resident at 5819 Hope Road, Marlowe, Oklahoma, 73055. Right, I'm making this video log to document everything that's happened to me since September 26, 2008. Uh, obviously, I can't discuss certain evidence, everything that, that's happened, since my current case actually involves a minor. However, in the case of my conviction or death, uh, all transcripts, all sensitive information will be sent out to different contacts across the United States and then released via the internet. Uh, I actually, I want everybody to see everything that's against me as well as for me and make your choice on your own whether you think I've done what the state and the federal government has tried to convict me of. All right, I'm also going to show the corruption of the Stevens County Sheriff's Department the FBI, the Oklahoma State Troopers, Department of Human Services, as well as the Stevens County Judicial System here. Uh, specifically, some of the things that I'm going to show are the unethical conduct of FBI agent Gene Poole. Uh, I'm going to show where he actually got caught lying on the stand in federal court and where he has physically threatened my family. I'm going to show the unprofessional, uh, the unprofessionalism, the corruption, and the misconduct of Judge Brent Russell right here at Stevens County in the courthouse. I'm going to show the corruption of the former district attorney, Brett Burns. I'm going to show the unethical conduct of the current district attorney, uh, Jason Hicks. I'm going to show the unethical and unlawful conduct of social worker Abigail Wilson unlawful conduct of Duncan Police Department officer Rusty Smith uh, the unethical conduct of Sheriff Wayne McKinney now, I, I'm gonna show this but I still support Wayne McKinney as my sheriff just because he's the best one we've had in a long time uh, least corrupt by far and I want to think that he's a good man but I'm still gonna show what he has done to my family uh, I'm going to show the unethical conduct of, let me see what her name was, Vicki Lynch of the Department of Human Services here at Duncan. I think she's the one that actually heads the DHS, which we call DHS, Department of Human Services. Uh, basically, they're child protective services here in Duncan, Oklahoma, for Stevens County area. I will present all evidence, both for me in my defense and against me that the state and federal government have brought forward for all of my cases, any case that I've had against me, including the 203 case where I got found not guilty in front of a jury of my peers. Uh, I'm going to disclose my entire case file, everything that I have for the sexual abuse case. I will take the preliminary transcript and I'll break down some of it. And it'll be fun showing where my wife likes to lie a lot and get caught. Uh, oh, right here. This is going to be fun for the DA, Mr. Jason Hicks, whenever I present this in court. He knows what this is. It's going to be a Pandora's box. And once I actually get to use this in court, I'll come back and release that stuff also. But I, I don't want it out there. It's kind of a, a pretty good weapon that I have to show that I did not commit the sexual abuse offense. Hmm. I'll go into detail about the arrest that happened to me while I was in the Marine Corps and show why that happened, why they ended up releasing me and dropping everything. Oh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna love this, but I'm gonna go into every little juicy detail uh, about my soon-to-be ex-wife's little life that she's leading now. Uh, I'll read some chat logs off of her computer that got extracted nice little sex chats while we were still married and together with other guys. Um, I'm going to show, I think it's 16, I don't know, somewhere around 15 separate porn sites that she's gone to 
also dates and times that she visited these since January 2009. Um, I'll show every little lie that she's got caught telling during both preliminary hearing or uh, on the stand at this last hearing that we had. What was that? Motion hearing that we had. She's been caught a lot and we haven't called her punk card on it now. We're waiting. We're waiting until trial. It's going to be funny. Uh, I will release an audio that I took of my wife while we were going through our divorce proceedings. She didn't know that I was uh, audio taping her, which it's a one party state here, where she's admitting to doing drugs, admitting to cheating, uh, admitting that she would commit perjury on the stand if it meant keeping her daughter from me uh, because she was scared to death that she was going to lose her daughter because of her drugs and stuff. She actually signed a paper for court saying that she committed adultery. Now she's trying to go back and say that she didn't commit adultery and that she only signed that because she didn't have proper counsel. Although I have her on audio tape admitting to it, so it really doesn't matter. I'm not sure how long this is going to run. Most likely, maybe even up to six hours, because I've got a lot of stuff to get into. And uh, it's very important that this stuff gets released. Uh, if somehow they do convict me, the uh, state troopers and the deputies have already said they're going to be trying to tell the inmates wherever I am about the intricate details of my case, and they said they'd like to see how long I'll last. So in other words, if I do get convicted, they're going to try to see if they can get me killed. So I'd like this information to get out there. Anyway, so this is part one. This will end the part one of my video log, and I will continue with the rest of them at my earliest convenience. Thank you.